Greetings, my dear friend! My name is Maxim and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to be discussing Sturge Weber syndrome. But before I go any further, may I ask you a question? What if a red mark on your face signaled something much more serious? For those with Sturge Weber syndrome, that's exactly what happens. This rare disorder causes port wine birthmark, plus a whole host of complications seizures, glaucoma, developmental delays. The culprit? Just one tweaked gene. While the syndrome itself isn't inherited, the single genetic change during development disrupts normal functioning. Brain scans reveal tram track calcifications, though symptoms vary. For Storch Weber patients, that red Facial stain represents a lifelong challenge requiring vigilant monitoring and care. And now let me help you remember the most important aspects of this disease. Well, without further ado, let's dive into it. We are incredibly lucky today. The Sturgeon Man himself, the superhero of our time, will devote time to his fans. The Sturgeon Man in our mnemonic symbolizes the Sturge Weber syndrome. Sturgeon for Sturge Weber syndrome. Pay attention to the costume of our main character, which is made of mosaic, which will help us remember that the Sturge Weber syndrome occurs due to somatic mosaicism and is not inherited. A group of fans have already lined up to see the superhero. The queue consists mainly of gymnasts. The gymnast in the queue symbolizes the GNAQ or GNAQ mutation that is responsible for this disease. However, don't forget that the evil doesn't sleep. So the super evil man who decided to attack the main character and ambush civilians is right here, right now. He is all electrified and ready to attack. Patients with Storch Weber syndrome are prone to seizures and epilepsy due to leptomeningeal angioma. An electric man with lightning bolts symbolizes epilepsy and seizures. Look closely at the supervalian mask. One side of the mask is red. During a diagnostic examination, nevus flammeus or port wine stain may be detected, which is nothing more than an angioma of the skin of the face or a capillary vascular malformation forming a red non-cancerous birthmark with a distribution of CNV1V2. Of course, what a super villain without his army. The electricity man turned several civilians into zombies in order to spread fear and terror throughout the city. Since zombies do not develop and are not very smart, in this mnemonic they denote developmental delay and intellectual disability in Sturge Weber syndrome. Due to episcleral hemangioma, intraocular pressure rises with the early onset of glaucoma in these patients. The wolf, in love, is so impressed by the gymnast that his eyes pop out of his head. The wolf, with bulging eyes, symbolizes glaucoma. This is not the end of the dirty deeds of the super villain. He challenges the sturgeon man by taking an innocent girl hostage and putting her under the speeding train. The main character doesn't have much time to save everyone. The railroad is similar to parallel calcifications in the brain, which is visible 
in City Studies of People with Sturge Weber Syndrome and is called Tram Track Calcifications. Well folks, this is all what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I wish you a very lovely day and see you guys later. Goodbye.